Hey, what's going on, guys? It's the Crypto Siege with another day in the life, in the crazy life that is the digital asset space. Good morning. Happy Wednesday to you. So, guys, listen, this is your XRP Ripple Daily News in around zero to 10 minutes. By the way, the market is doing its thing. Shout out to XRP Crypto Wolf for sharing this. Uh, SEC Commissioner Crypto Mom, Hester Pierce is still working to make regulations flexible enough to allow more crypto innovation. Hester Pierce wants to see new cryptocurrency projects get a fair shake at U.S. capital markets with regulatory clarity. And this came from uh, Cointelegraph. SEC Crypto Mom Pierce believes the U.S. capital markets can transform people's lives. We all know there's a slot open. <laughs> Clayton is gone. There's a slot open there at the commissioner's office. So in July 7th, fireside chat, courtesy of Unitize, Commissioner Hester Pierce of the Securities and Exchange uh, Commission continued to advocate for regulatory clarity for crypto as a means of opening up capital markets to innovation. I believe in the power of our capital markets to transform people's lives, said Pierce. I wanted to make sure that our regulatory structure was flexible enough to accommodate innovation. She noted that the size of the U.S. economy makes, it, makes its regulations critical to global fundraising. The race to the bottom is something we should be concerned about, but that's all the more reason for a jurisdiction like the United States to try to develop a workable framework that allows people to come and avail themselves to our market. Pierce continued to advocate the role of the United States government in setting up rules of the road, but also played down innovation coming from the public sector itself. Huh, interesting. Remember that innovation typically comes from outside the government sector. We need to set up a framework that allows people who spend a lot of time thinking about new ideas to continue to spend time thinking about those ideas and a lot of time worrying and not a lot of time worrying about complying with regulations. Amen to that. Nicely said. Nicely said, Crypto Mom. So Pierce also spoke on the question of SEC jurisdiction, uh, jurisdiction internationally. With digital assets trading largely irrespective of borders, the role of the SEC has proven controversial, as in the Telegram case. Remember what happened with their ICO? It's certainly a difficult area, and it's a difficult area even without blockchain, said Pierce. Even apart from figuring out where jurisdic jurisdictionally we can go, I asked the question, is this a good use of our resources? Nice. How exactly the SEC determines which projects to pursue remains an enigmatic question. Although Pierce did ask industry players to flag bad actors for the commission rather than wait for their investigators to find them on their own. Safe Harbor proposal. So Pierce's proposed safe harbor for token projects looking to build out networks has attracted a great deal of attention in the crypto sphere. In response to a question about the response, she rejected the notion that the measure would spark another 2017 type ICO boom. She compared the situation at the time to the current beer cold scams. Beer cold scams, interesting. Saying, when you have anything like crypto that gets a lot of attention in the media, you get a group of people who say, oh, this is perfect. I'm going to take advantage of this while I can. Absolutely. Very, very true. She knows from what she speaks. Good job, crypto, crypto mom. So here's some from James Rule XRP. Interesting here. Former top treasury official joins Bitcoin tracing firm Chain Analysis. That is pretty massive. Chainalysis, former top treasury official, joins the Bitcoin tracing firm Chainalysis. Sagal Mandiker was previously treasury undersecretary 
for terrorism and financial intelligence. That same chain analysis, the same chain analysis that offers the XRPL ledger, almost like as a service. Interesting. So in brief, Segal was previously Treasury Undersecretary for Terrorism and Financial Intelligence under President Trump, but resigned last October. She has since joined venture capital firm Ribbit Capital and now blockchain analysis firm. Chain analysis today announced that it raised an additional 13 million in investment. Wow. Very, very nice. So a former US Treasury Department official has now joined blockchain analysis firm Chain Analysis. I like this. She served as Treasury Undersecretary, I read that already, who previously warned Mandel Kerr, who previously warned that appropriate legislation was needed to regula regulate cryptocurrency exchanges because of terrorism, will now work at Chain Analysis as an advisor. Well, you think that's, I don't know. But if it's a coincidence, cool. But it's a great place for her to be at Chain Analysis. And she can come, well, how is Chain Analysis doing the things that they're doing to, to be able to check all these transactions? Well, you know, one of the things that we're using this thing is called the XRPL ledger. Yeah, I like it. Let's see what else else is going on, on Twitter. Uh, what is this? I read that. This is interesting. Something that came from, uh, shout out to Gold XRP for sharing this. Uh, this is something from the IRS. So he retweeted something from Roy. It's game over. There's no cryptopia. Welcome to law. This is something apparently from the IRS. Pilot IRS request for information, the RFI, Internal Revenue Services, Criminal Investigation, Cyber Crimes, Cryptocurrency Initiative. The privacy centric crypto tokens mentioned in the IRS CI request include Monero, Zcash. Dash, Grin, Komodo, Verge, and Horizon. Alongside this, the IRS wants data concerning off-chain networks and side chains like the Nightly Network, Raiden Network, Seller Network, Plasma, Omise Go, and coins that have integrated the Schnorr signature algorithm like Bitcoin Cash. This is some interesting steps here. First of all, they, they missed one of the most, you know, the ZK snarks of all privacy coins. They didn't even mention them in here. And it's, they don't list it. It's more secure and more private than all of them. Interesting, interesting. So they're starting. We don't know what it's going to mean, uh, but if the IRS is involved, it certainly means that they're trying to get some money somehow. So we'll have to keep uh, up to date with this. Yeah, so Grin, yeah, I get it, Grin, yeah. Grin's a little bit more private than Monero and Zcash. Uh, but they didn't even get the big one, which is, it's not listed there, which is Pirate Chain. Pirate Chain is significantly more private. So, but keep an eye on that. But interesting point, uh, Gold XRP says, why did they ask for data concerning the Lightning Network and not the XRPL ledger? <laughs> With a wink, right? There's an obvious reason for why they didn't do that. This is interesting. Uh, I don't know, Angelus Sapiens. I don't think I've ever done anything from this person. What XRP really is and how it will be worth 10K to individuals. No riddles. Oh, any, any you know, he put it at some people there. Interesting stuff. The, the XRP game plan, um, lay, lay, I don't know how to pronounce that name, L-A-I-D, lay it there. Despite conflicting information from the same sources, uh, in parentheses, it says perhaps deliberately misleading, I know, bankers, right? Yeah, so my research leaves me 100% convinced of the following. Okay, XRP is a revived Keynesian bank core and will replace the now defunct XDR basket model. The bank core was regarded as too imaginative at the time and instead the Bretton Woods Agreement adopted special drawing rights. The bank core idea, which was a supranational currency used in international trade as a unit of account with a multilateral clearing system has 21st century update with blockchain protocols and what results is xrp going back to the future in a cryptocurrency kind of way as with bank or model as with the bank or model and the xrd model the uh, drawing rights model the unit of measure is allocated by the IMF to countries and cannot be held or used 
by private parties. Interesting, I believe this will also be the case with XRP, which is described as built for enterprise use for banks and payment providers. Expect a buyback. This is a very interesting point. This again, this is not me saying this. This is Angelus Sapiens on Twitter. So expect a buyback. There are probably more reasons why than the following, but this is one that he or she notes. But I think Ripple allowed retail investors like us to buy XRP because our money, because our money and our transactions were needed to build and test the network. Interesting. Something as simple as that. I never even thought about that. The buyback will probably go down as one of the most generous investor buybacks in history, though, to soften the blow. Because as soon as they get it all back, each XRP token will be not worth an ounce, but a kilo of gold. Interesting. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to wrap up the video with that one. All the money on earth digitized into only 100 billion equals one hell of an expensive token. <sighs> Interesting. All right, guys. Listen, I'm going to uh, end this video. I could do all my videos and remind you guys of this. Old money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. They would rather us remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of trading our time for dollars. They don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in where we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. The digital asset space is our chance to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating? Or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know, that the battle for you has already been fought and the victory is yours. Go get it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya.